Right now at six, we are learning more about a project on Government Street in downtown Mobile, but uh, it has been put in place in hopes of reducing congestion. Traffic lights from Royal down to Broad Street are now synchronized. This means next time you're getting off I-10 because of a crash, you likely won't be sitting at a red light as long as you used to. NBC 15's Lisa Labrenyak joins us now. Lisa, this project took several years to get rolling finally. Yeah, and it was actually completed around May, but we're just hearing about it now because a few kinks were getting worked out. Through a partnership with the Alabama Department of Transportation, the city of Mobile is able to literally put eyes on a street notorious for its congestion. Whether it's a truck stuck in the Bankhead Tunnel or a backup on I-10, this road has seen it all. This project put about uh, three miles of fiber optic, <clears throat> fiber optic cable in. Uh, we originally had nine traffic signals that were supposed to be connected. We actually got that number increased to 13 uh, in the middle of the project. 13 signals now synchronize along with six traffic cameras that are being watched here. Mobile Mayor Sandy Stinson says there was also a big push for pedestrian safety, so they upgraded push buttons at crosswalks. Somewhat kiddingly, people used to say we had those buttons on those poles just so people could push the crosswalk and it really didn't go anywhere. Well, now they go somewhere. Traffic signals are connected through these utility boxes you see at different corners on government and downtown. It's then transmitted back to LDOT's traffic management center. LDOT says there's improved signal timing, but the main thing is that it now has the capability of changing lights green, yellow, or red. We did put EPS uh, battery backups and all the traffic signals to help keep these all on. The city and LDOT say since the completion of this project, there's been a 21% overall improvement in travel time. The project's price tag was about $1.3 million.